Hello everyone, how good of you to join and welcome back to yeah an exciting episode because just on time we get the first airship finally it took us quite some time I was postponing it for a long a long while but it is now here fortitude it's called our very first airship in all its glory we might also change its skin to a more fabulous one because of course it's the first one and the first airship should look a bit more pompous and that's the case with this one here now fortitude is going to serve a very important business here for us it's not the fastest airship right but it has a lot of cargo and it's good for um a lot of let's just fireworks. say um volume Onward. of letters that we can transport let's just get uh this Soon airship over here flying over manola in all its glory and with this the airship of course we can now start finally the overseas um letter post system and with that, first of all, what we need to do here is we do have letters in store now quite a bit, right? 210 tons in Manola. Um, I'm going to stop the consumption of the local mail. So especially for the artistas, I think it was. This will give me a temporary um, drop again in income. I'm doing the same thing Just in Crown Falls. I think only the investors were unlocked so far for it, right? Yes, investors. And I think the engineers should be looking fine. They're not using it at the moment. Very good. Now what we can do, we can start now with that trade route here. And there is an airship route. And this airship route is going now from Manoa all the way then to Cape Trelawney, Crown Falls, to the airports here. And it's going to pick up a lot of local mail in Manoa, dropping it off in Crown Falls and also doing it vice versa. Oh, in Crown Falls, we have 270 tons of that, right? And this is just how it works then back and forth. And of course, Fortitude is going to be on this very first trade route that we have for our letters. And now finally, the people in Manola and in Crown Falls, they can communicate with each other directly via airship. It's a glorious day. As this one is now picking it all up. And yeah, we might actually... Might actually just do something here for the airport. Let's actually get us a paved road around it. There is also then the connection here um, directly with uh, the other side as well. There's, by the way, my, my main road, right? That goes also directly from the beach area and then right into uh, this mess that we can have then going right over there. The airport itself looking fine. But I might still move it away there a bit to actually allow us to have That's ornaments, thing, right? So we could we could get it over there for now. Um, then we have the entrances down here. And as we can see, there's also the texture here for, for entrances that we have then in that side and on that side. This goes back again to my, to my main road. And then we have these modules that I would like to have on this side and on this side just makes more sense because they need a road connection this is for the post office then and also for my um item transfer depot some representation with flags that we can have on all the corners of course we also want to prominently display that this is an airport <laughs> so we have these airport signs there as well probably just also on the other side so here perhaps the entrance to the airport itself mm, on that side we don't really need it this is a smaller uh, entrance right so we could still have it here for example mm, also here by the airmail sorting office there could also be something like a, a cafe right and something where people can sit let's also have these clocks then here so people know what the time is and what uh, what time their airship is departing uh, can we have this one here too it's getting a bit tight then right might not do this one here. Ship under attack. Oh my, what is going on here? Yeah, she's got these iron cuts now coming into the, the map of Stations. Cape Trelawney. It's a bit annoying. It shouldn't do anything else though than be, an, be annoying there a bit. They are not doing that much damage either. So Loading no, I, I'm not expecting to lose a ship because of that. By the way, do we have the trade ship, the, the, the airship? Not here yet. By the looks of it, still on the way. Ah, uh, but very close now. Let's just quickly finish up the, the airport in Melona. Right over there we have it. And also then, let's just go ahead with some tables. I think we had some tables. There they are. By the by this central station there then as well. We got lots of ornaments within 
the airport, but of course I can't build it within, so we are just going to, to work around it here. Um, probably another flagpole then there. That should be fine. And on the other side, we could do the same thing, really. By the way, we also have these seating platforms then. Seating arena and covered seats. A nice little area here. So just in case people are coming from the other side, right? And then we have this entrance there to the airport there. However, I need to go back now to Crown Falls because I think we will see the airship now arriving shortly. How thrilling. And on this fine day, there it is, the airship finally arriving in Crown Falls. People are in awe. I mean, they've already seen airships now from the care packages that Bente sent us and also Hugo in the quite opposite direction. As my tiny town receives its first airmail coming right from Manola. Now this is turning into overseas mail as we can see. So what I can see right now is that we still have the local mail, right? Let's have it docked. As we can see, now we got 150 tons of overseas mail and the local mail is then being consumed um, and taken over then to Manola. Ooh, yeah, look at that, just on time. G is trying to ruin the party, getting us an ironclad in there. I think we don't have any... Ready no, we don't have any ships right now in the harbor area. Let's get us a dreadnought over there. Once again, a bit of a mistake there. I did not expect any warships to come in so soon. Let's get us those guys over there. We just should have a ship at least somewhere. And in that case, I will probably also need some harbor defenses. In the form of normal harbor guns that should do the trick. They take heavy damage already from my trade, trade defense there. Yeah, they're going down actually, just from the from the flamethrower there, but also primarily, of course, from the ground trade post. No, actually, really, the flamethrower is doing a lot of damage to it. And it's probably going down. Ship under attack. Very good. Ship wasn't even necessary yeah. for this one. Tank it's down. Now, airmail. The airship already left again, of course, but now we can finally unlock this one and the overseas mail is going crazy. 125 coin and 25 investors per building. Let's have a look at that. 132,000 we have right now. And now the overseas mail is coming in for all the investors. And as we can see, it's going up there steeply, the balance with that. Can we see where the income is coming from? No, it's just investor investor parts there so 30,000 I think it's going to be 40,000 might be even the case however Nothing of course consumption will probably be also quite high for this let's just quickly check it out we consume now hmm, six per minute oh actually that's not that high considering we do have 144 we can we can live off with that for quite a while it'll just um uh, just turn out then how many local mail we produce in manola right and then we can see how stable it is but i think it might actually be really stable that allows us to have it also for the engineers activated but we'll see about that later it's actually 40,000 in increase right quite nice quite nice by the way, we of course have to continue with the Land of Lions expedition as well. So we can decide in what direction we want to go on our journey to Enbesa. At the end, it doesn't really matter. Let's go to El Souk. I think last time I went the other way. And you dock at a small, lively port on the northern coast. While most of your crew replenish supplies and repair the damage suffered in a recent storm, some decide to head off to explore the local Souk. Several young men in baggerly clothes offer to guide them through the maze and shoot them off and trust your crew's instincts or examine the ragged man to find a suitable guide. Mm, sh mm, that actually sounds good, uh, better. But this one here, let's follow the instinct that has a higher chance. It is not long before your crew are hopelessly lost in a tangle of a crowded street. Nice! And try to secure help by purchasing something. Oh, we can purchase something with beer. Let's purchase it for 10 beer. Oh yeah, that has a high chance of success. And the trade-off hardly seems fair, but your sailors are eager to find a way out of the souk. And with that, we can continue the journey to the Crocodile Delta or the Ancient Labyrinth. Let's go to the Labyrinth. Sounds better than Crocodiles. On our way to, to Enbesa. Next quest, the Ancient Labyrinth. Alone in the darkness, they cannot hear her cries. Enter or enter the humble passage. 
And facing east or facing north, take the Swan Door or take the Heron Labyrinth. Let's take the Swan Door. And all the tiles in the room are adorned with bull's hats and slowly cross the tiles. We can eat some bread for the faith to get through that room. You shuffle over the tiles worriedly and descend the uneven steps. And a gaping chasm stares up at you and we keep our back straight and swiftly cross the beam. Oh, that was rather successful so far. And you fall into the pit. You get up painfully, battered and bruised, but very much alive. You light the match, one of the few remaining, and find yourself facing a strangely ornate door. Chestnut wood, half-faded supports an alarmingly life-like carving of a bull's head. Let's open it. And darkness there, and nothing more. Light my last one uh, match, and advance without it, or strike it. Yeah, let's strike the last match. And that's the ochre light. And have just enough time to distinguish the flared nostrils and sharp horns of a colossal bull. There's actually a bull in the in the in the labyrinth here. And stand absolutely still. And you hold your breath, not daring to make a sound, but you find a momentous discovery. And we do find a bull red rython. So it was not a real bull, it was a fake bull. And by standing still, we successfully saw that. And with that, we continue and make our journey onto the Kulisma Canal. There you go. I would like to continue with my expansion of industry. Uh, we do have our tracks here, right, that lead to this uh, power plant. Problem number one is, of course, that we are out of oil. So in that case, that would be my first thing that I need to do. For that, however, we do need a cargo ship. Let's take Tailwind that we have already um, and get us some building materials to the new world because in the new world, we got plenty of oil supplies. In Cape Trelawney, none anymore. So I do need more oil. And with that, let's get the, especially steel, right? Even though we are getting steel in Manola now as well. Lots of steel together with windows and especially also important reinforced concrete for the, the oil power plants. And let's get this one to, let's make it Martinez for now because that's the closest one. I think in Martinez we do have 14 and we are not even Why using all of them, time? right? So we would already be capped here. We are not even using all the 14 oil fields that we have here. So I could just go ahead and build us the next one mm, to get us more oil in. The only thing we need is oil tankers. And I would like to get us two more out there. Oh, oh. Oil tanker. How much influence do we need? Five. I don't have that much influence. Um, I might get rid of uh, one of the flamethrowers right here in the harbor area. This gives me back enough influence to build me two oil tankers here quickly. And then some cargo ship perhaps as well. But that is one thing, right? Getting the oil in. The other one is I would like to turn this one into a tiny industry zone that we can use then for soap and beer. So I would like to combine two industries over there. We have the tracks going here at the moment. Um, this is actually my old town, not anymore though, right? We're going to make the old town in the river, in the riverlands here. I think this will look much better. Um, and that way here we can now use for an additional industry area and this is just going to be another city district and uh, by the way we have a school here that i don't think i need right yeah we can upgrade those engineers there and no longer need that school save the space um get us uh, the buildings out of the way so that we can have the tracks then over there and this one also over there right successfully remodeled <laughs> those guys lost their homes but they found a better one. Oh, this is not a bridge please uh, there is the paved road. This one has no road now. There is a police station that we probably should need, right? From time to time, beating is necessary. Let's have it over there for now, though, so I can make that, that road connection here. I think it's just better when we have more, more buildings there. Very good. Let's get rid of that road system there and then that one. It's a single track for now, right? It actually turned into a single track here. I would like to change this now too, as we do have plenty of space here anyway. And we just continue here with the double track system. Going then all the way down to this area and then into the, the next area then here. Let's just make it like so. But at least until this point, it has to be double tracks now because there's going to be more trains, of course. And here we have then the crossing. And then we continue. How should we continue here? I think here it's fine then to turn into a single track because it's going to be only one power plant then here for the industry zone. And that's it, right? So here, let's turn it into a single track. And this single track goes then over the bridge. 
to the other side. Turns a bit. And goes then. Uh, let's turn it a bit more. Through that. Do we need those streets here, by the way? I think we do still need them. So I'm going to keep them. And here we actually leave this island then and move to the other side. Right? And this turns then into a an industrial zone. And here probably we have the the power plants. Oh, there seems to be a bigger battle. What is going on? Holy cow, are you serious? She's attacking my airship. Alright, where's my flag monitors? I don't believe this. We do need to have now flag monitors here because she is actually attacking my airship and she probably is destroying it. Can't believe that. Where's my monitors? Over there they are on the move now. Let's move towards my monitors. They might actually catch her. Your ship has returned I don't believe Miss Hunt. Honestly, it always surprises me. She's now fighting my airship over there. My proud first airship. By the way, uh, we should continue with more airships. As I, of course, I do need more of them. Let's build two more. It's the influence once again that's capping us then here. And um, smallest cargo airship. We could also go with some armed ones to protect it. Mm, yeah, This one? This one with the 20 weapons. Let's build two of them. We can do this. We've taken fire. There's the monitor. Let's move in and destroy this bugger. On our way. But it's only one monitor, right? There's the other two. Boy, it's not doing a lot of damage. Come on. This can't be true. I don't want to lose my first airship. Take it down! Oh, thank the gods. Let's get this one back here to repair immediately. And I'm going to have my, my flag monitors here. And we probably, influence-wise, let's get rid of one of the normal towers there. And have the flag monitors here, of course. Right? So we do need to have some flags. Uh, where is my flag? There it is. Flag emplacement right here by the by the airport. I would like to have two there though. One we can afford there. And the second one... Ah, I do need a repair clearance. I think one will be fine anyway. Or we get rid of this storage depot there and just move the the next flag then over there. Yeah, let's have two flags there and let's actually have three in total here. So if she tries anything, then we defend our ships now with the utmost care. The this we don't need. Spreads across your city. Here we just make the connections then with the, the depots then like that. Alright, coming fire. in, it can be repaired by the air repair crane, right? There it is. Perfect. We now need to wait a bit. This, of course, is bringing down my, my overseas mail production there a bit. But it's fine. We are capped on that almost. In Crown Falls, in Manola, we should already have some overseas mail now too. There it is. 150 tons. Let's unlock it for the artistas. They like this especially. And we do need more artistas, of course, for everything. Else. So let's go ahead. Overseas mail coming in now. And with that, we do have a total consumption of this one now. How? By three tons only. So let's also enable it for the Obreras. Both of them. They're going to be very happy about this. More Obreras and more money. The money is not that important. The the population though is important. Such because I think with this one now, we should breach the 100,000. There it is. 100,000 people globally in my game now. Very good. That's a huge milestone. And I, I hope that it's happy people. Obreras and Juanelos are really happy. The Artistas, not that much. But for Artistas, we have a whole bunch of stuff upcoming um, that I need to prepare, though. The beer is one of them. And the beer I'm already working on, right? So that was uh, this area now. So that's the train. Uh, for the train, we go ahead with, yeah, just some more ornaments, of course, as always. I want to, to kind of, like, separate it once more um, from my basic ones. Now let's have one of these crossings there as well. I think I like that. 
right? And then we continue onwards here with, of course, our wall system again. I mean, hmm, theoretically, I could also use, of course, trees as separations. But I think I like the, the walls for now more. Nothing is set in stone, though, as always. This is a bit problematic for the gate here to handle. So, unfortunately, there is no clipping here, right? That gets this together. There's too many roads for my taste anyway. We might get rid of this road there altogether. And just have a, uh, a gate here then. And then here. And here we don't need this because there is no population then going to be anymore. Um, and yeah, with that, we can still use some more area here now for houses, of course. Like this. And this. And a few more here then. Your ship has returned from its voyage. Very good. That's my whale ship. So we can now unload the goods. It's going to be important. There's already the oil harbor. It's full, right? Let's upgrade this one. That it holds a bit more storage. And then we already have a double track system. Very good. So with that, we can all just go as easily to the other side here where there's more oil waiting. So there we have, unfortunately, very spread out. And is there no other patch? There it is. That looks a bit more dense, right? So here we can have a lot of them closer. So there's only the lumberjack hut that is a problem. So let's move this a bit further away. Further up here. That should do the trick. Then I can take this one. Uh, under attack. Either way, I will not be able to get them all, unfortunately. Uh, come on. Ship under attack. Why? Why? What is under attack all the time? Just ships passing by. She took another island here, right? Cultural. Sorry, pal. You're not going to have this for long. First of all, we get lots of oil here. And this is my tobacco industry. So, sorry. Miss Hunt, don't get even Ship accustomed to the island there. <laughs> I'm not going to allow this. Um, but for now, Martinez, we already have the basic the basic infrastructure, so I would like to just build upon that. And that would be the oil. Um, having it here... There is no way for me to get all four, right? So I will need to go with this for now. Like so. And then we can have another one for those two patches if I want to. Of course, we still need those towers. And then I will need another track system. Single track is fine. It is then merging with my double track system over there. And with that, the next oil comes out. Of course, it's way too much for Martinez. This is all meant for export. Yes, I have my trade routes redirected over there because of the island that she had here, right? Now she settled on this island, once again bringing my trade routes to danger. Sorry, Miss Hunt. We will have to take this island out right away because I can't allow that to sabotage my trade routes, nor do I want to redirect my routes again. This would be insane. I'm not doing this just for the old witch. Certainly not. And then we still have those patches there. I think we do have enough resources to also aff afford this. Unfortunately, once again, only this will be even more tricky. Oh my. Ship constructed. No way. There's no way to get them all in, unfortunately. I could try it of like course. this. Wants ah, there we get three at least. That's fine for me. Screw the last one. There's the tran. Might take over your island. And this is once again here com coming together then with my double track system, right? And let's build it. And with that, the next oil refinery is working now out here in Martinez. That's a lot of oil coming in now, by the way, right? So we got a few bunches Explosion. of them coming in then into my oil factors. harbor. Let's also upgrade this once more. Old and with frame. that, I'm totally happy about how this one I turned out. You, now, let's get back to Crown Falls. Have we finished the oil tanker by now? Yes, we have. Let's get us the next oil route up. Oil route from Martinez to Crown Falls. Getting oil and mass. Probably, probably two ships on this trade route. The local mail can continue again. So the, the airship has been repaired by now. Right? Continuing. Very good. And of course, I know also that in Shodex, we do need to purchase these shares again. If I don't want to lose my hops plantations there. Back in Crown Falls, there's the my train tracks now. Uh, by the way, here we still need to have the walls then, of course. Connecting with the wall system that we already have in place. Like this, and also here then. Going down, and going down here to the, the tracks itself. Let's actually have the double tracks all the way to this area. This looks better. 
Ship under attack. And then of course, them gates again. Here. The fire and here. Out of control. Oh yeah, and then we took over Kalthrel in the new world as my dreadnoughts just arrived there. You can also check this out quickly. There it is. Your enemy's resistance is crumbling. Actually brings us down to negative influence now, but it should be fine. There's also some loot. I can only imagine what it is. Uh, not the worst actually. Bricks we could always use. Just quickly unload everything that we find. And that's it. Of course, theoretically, we should be able to defend these islands here. Um, right now, I'm only using my ships for that, right? So I can leave one ship here. Um, and the other dreadnoughts and somewhere in that area. But one dreadnought usually is fine for quite a lot of battle. Perfect. So, beer production ramped up. Train supply now all the way over here then for a new industry zone. And also, of course, the monuments that is working. And the airship routes that are working now finally with my postal postal delivery system stay tuned